begin with breaking news tonight from Worcester. Investigators are on the hunt tonight for a stolen cache of high-powered weapons. Good evening. I'm Leah Martin. And I'm Kate Merrill. Thanks for joining us tonight. The weapons were stolen from the Army Reserve Center over the weekend. And as Katie Brace explains, the FBI is involved in the investigation. Sources have just told us the weapons stolen are 10 pistols and six semi-automatic rifles. They were stolen from the Army Reserve Center sometime between 4 o'clock last night and 7.30 this morning. The FBI says this is not connected to terrorism, but they still want those weapons back immediately. Investigators worked late at the Stoddard Army Reserve Building. Thieves broke in Saturday night and stole weapons. The FBI says there's no information indicating a threat to the New England area. Nothing at this point in time that would tie this to, um, you know, any uh, specific threat or anything else at this point. Fences and barbed wire surround the facility on a hill off busy Lake Avenue in Worcester. Army personnel walked the grounds. Any time that you have uh, terrorist uh, groups or uh, just criminals breaking into uh, police stations or armories, stealing weapons, uh, in order to threaten the local government, the people. I mean, that's, that's something we all take seriously. Investigators entered the stolen weapons into a national database and alerted other police agencies. They Governor Baker addressed the break-in, saying in the wake of Paris, all levels of government are staying briefed. With respect to anything that might appear uh, to involve any sort of a copycat or a follow-up. He stressed the break-in would be on their radar screen regardless. These sorts of things, people are going to be chasing and investigating no matter what. In addition to the FBI, state and local police are also investigating, and the FBI says this case is not related to any others. In Worcester, Katie Brace, WBZ News.